What's the crack, YouTube? I'm back again for another juice review. Today we're reviewing the line of Brothers Reserve four bottles. Um, as again, I've tried them all already. I got them on Thursday with the major line that I previously reviewed. Again, another great selection of juices. If yes, it's another American line. Um, you might find that I gush a bit about the American line juices. Simple for the fact I haven't really come across a bad one yet. Um, as I said before, I've been vaping just over a year. And yeah, I've tried lots of juices. When I say lots, I, it actually scares me to think the amount of money I've spent on juice over the last year. I mean, when I first started vaping, it was like everybody else, it was cheaper than smoking. Then you get on to things like these. And you stay to the wee pen ones, it's cheap. 30 mil would last you about a month. Go on these, 30 mil lasts you a few days. <laughs> but yeah. Um, like I said, I'm going to do Brothers Reserve. I was sent the menu list. I'm not going to read the menu list to you, but I'm going to use it as a quick guide. See what they, they put down and tell you what I think. Because as we all know, taste is selective. It's your own personal taste at the end of the day. But the first one we're going to start off with is Sir Mac. So it is from the Bowler's Reserve Bank. Um, they basically pick it up with all it's, it's eight lines long in the description. I've basically been using this in the Mutation X3-4 for the last couple of days. And to me, it's like a marzipan. An almond marzipan. Um, that we get on the likes of your, your Christmas cake. The marzipan you would get in your Christmas cake. It's about like that. They basically say there's vanilla and pomegranate. Um, all that there, paper on it, but me breaking it down for you. It's marzipan. Marzipan with almond. Maybe we bit of fruit in there, but we'll give it another go here with the top book. As you all know from the last review, this is gonna be my review setup basically. It's the top boat with the I just two battery. Uh yes, I'm a grim fan. So I'll have that the the grim army that we want. But hey, you know me, we all have our parts. Here we go. Proler's Reserve, Sir Mac, um, same 24 gauge 6 wrap, around about 0 0.42 foam ring. And, um, yeah, it's 3MG neck. So let's go. Yeah, awesome. Like I said, it's marzipan basically. Um, they basically have it here. Vanilla Secrets, as an intense as it's a real equal vanilla, possesses the singular breathtaking purity of aroma with butterscotch and caramel. They're saying that. Yeah, I can see where they're, they're talking about the caramel because it adds to the creaminess with the vanilla on the inhale. The butterscotch could be what's giving me that um, marzipan taste. So it could. Um, but yeah, to me it, it, it's, it's marzipan. Almond marzipan. And we have us over here, especially in Belfast, we all love our marzipans. Um, your Battenbergs. Christmas cake. I mean, it, it is. It's an, it's an all-day vape. So it is. Um, you could put this in a tank if you've got an RTA like the Billow V2. I'd say it would be brilliant on it. Any of your flavor tanks. Or, like I said, I've been using it in the Mutation X. Um, it's been outstanding. But yeah, it, it's another good one. So, we're going to come back and uh, try to rewrite the top book for Brothers Reserve Giro. And we're back, folks. 
Yep, so that was Sir Mag. Now we're on to Giro. Right. Um, they're saying, Giro, what is the they saying? Inspired by popular strawberry banana smoothie, Giraffe, sorry, Giraffe it's called, my mistake, blends sweet cream with bananas and a touch of strawberry. So, it's basically going to be your banana strawberry smoothie. Now, when I tried this, I couldn't believe it. Most smoothies I've tried, it's the more your candy fruits. This isn't. These actually nail legit strawberry and banana fruit. I mean, again, yeah, it sounds like I'm gushing, but the Americans, they, they know what they're doing when they're making their juices. Look, um, it just smells. It smells like an all day vape. Let's give her a whack. In the top boot. My god. I'm normally not a big banana fan. Anybody knows me, you know, I don't like bananas, but. Yeah, that's another, that's another old day via that one. Um, it would be a bit like the, the morning glory in the mazers where you could wake up and have this with your breakfast. If you just want to, if you're a gripper and you like dripping in the morning with your breakfast, that would be another one, so it would. The banana hits you, but it's not like bang straight away. More delicate sodas, but it does, it gets you straight away. The creaminess of the smoothie with the milk and the strawberry on the exhale for me, sodas. Yeah, giraffe, that would be another all day one, so yeah, Pearl's Reserve giraffe. Brilliant. Next, we're going to do, <laughs> this is one of my favourites. So it is. Um, yeah, we'll come back once I rewrite them and talk about this. But yeah, it, it, it's it's another good one, folks. So, and we're back. Um, yeah, as I was saying, Brawler's Reserve base note. And it's got the wee squiggle base note symbol there. Um, yeah, I've been using this in my crown tank. Since uh, Thursday, unbelievable, and they're saying it's a funky fusion of pomegranate and berries blended together with a creamy vanilla. I don't get that, folks. Um, <laughs> we'll drop it in here and we'll talk about it. But yeah, I don't get what they have explained. I don't get that. So I don't, yeah, we're gonna put a lot on this one. Uh, but it's just, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be cursing, folks. Stay with it. <laughs> I curse. On the tugboat, let's go. The only time I get anything like a pomegranate is any of us that use rivers blow out. It's just an instinct that you blow out, but you get a wee, a wee bit of a hint of what you're about to, to take in. That's when I get the pomegranate. The rest of the time, this tastes like a bourbon tobacco. Your Jack Daniels, your Jim Beam, any of these are like bourbon. And like a fruity tobacco. And it's been, it's been awesome. Like I said, I've been using it in the Crown since Thursday. Wow. Possibly Friday. That's what I've used. I mean, it's it's been awesome, so it has. Cloud production, brilliant. I mean, it, like I said, this is just a wee single six wrap 24 gauge hole in this. It's nothing 
fancy, it's not your clapped in, you know, your part of the hills, it's basic, but it produces clouds. If you see me putting the juice in a tank and me showing you that I have it in a tank, trust me, it's an all day vape. I won't put anything in the tank unless it's an all day vape. So, um, I don't see the point. But, Awesome. Next one we're going on to is the last one from Brothers Reserve. And can I just say again, big shout out to Daryl from Cliff for sending me all these juices. The competition was only supposed to be for four bottles of Nasers, but he hooked me up so he did big star. Um, yeah, thank you, mate. Um, Mona 24-7 is the next one so as per usual we'll come back and attack after a rewrite the tugboat and we're back folks um mona 24 7 that's her there subscribe here is nothing is more satisfying after a long day of yard work in the hot summer sun than everyone's favorite iced tea amelia that's basically what it, they're saying it is but I have a different take on it. So I have. Any of you older generation like me in their 30s and up would remember these sweets. I'm going to tell you about them as we wait here. Just loading up the cell boat with plenty of juice. But yes, folks. This is another one that's going to be going into the pillow. So it is. And uh, another old there. They really hit this on the head, but not with their description. But it's good. Hmm. Does anybody ever remember the boiled sweets called? lemon sherbets. They were the yellow that was shaped like a lemon but they had like a sherbet like powder on the inside. That's what this is. So it is. Mona 20 or 7. Not nice tea. A lemon sherbet sweet. Um because even the, sh the lemon sherbet sweets had that fresh lemon taste to them, but the sherbet gave it its sweet factor. So that outstanding. Um, it's another, it's an all day one. This is actually when my illusions finish here, and it makes a lot of my illusions. That's going into the pillow. So it is. Um, Awesome. So that's fun. Yeah, that was it, folks, for the Brawlers Reserve. Um, I'll post a link in the description below to where you can get them. Um, again, it's an Iron American link, folks. Sorry for all the people like myself in the UK, but I have never heard them over here before. Um, you can use your Google food and try and find them in the UK, by all means, but I'm going to give you the link that I have. Um, brilliant line of juice, can't fault any of them at all. I would be up all of them. Um, but yeah, my favourite one has to be Base Reserve. Um, next would be the Mona 24 7. Base Reserve basically because of the bourbon. I mean, it was, it's just awesome. But yeah, that's it for now, folks. Um, Maybe it's with a wee bit of metallica.